Welcome to episode 1476 of the Multivitamin Collective. Today I wanted to talk about accountability and the idea, no, the fact, let's just say the fact that what is going on in the world today as it relates to sort of the divisive nature of things, right? Topics, no matter what it is, there are polarizing things in the world today that have been introduced into our world. And as such, they've been introduced into our workplaces, into our cultures, in the way of team members that show up with different views of the world, more in alignment with one side or the other, or down the middle, it doesn't matter. But those particular influences have made their way into our workplaces. And as a result, it has made it uh, not more difficult, but it has given cause for us to be more mindful when we are holding people accountable for business outcomes. You have to be cognizant of the idea that there is this divisive nature about the world and it comes across in the way that you lead people, uh, meaning that you need to do that in a way that is graceful, that is mindful, that is thoughtful. Yes, you can hold people accountable for, accountable for business outcomes and it's necessary to hold people accountable for business outcomes. It is also necessary to be mindful of what is going on in the world so that when you are leading people, when you are having courageous conversations in moments of truth, you're doing it with a level of finesse that makes sense, that fits, that helps people maintain dignity uh, in spite of the fact that they might be taking critique for their efforts in producing business outcomes. So my encouragement to you today is be mindful, be thoughtful of what is going on in the world and be mindful and thoughtful that it is influencing your culture in some way, shape or form because the broader world has influence over individuals who come into your workplace on a daily basis. And you can have the best culture in the world, best culture in the world, a collegiate culture, a collaborative culture, a culture that is family oriented or, or centered around this sort of family concept or a sports team concept. But at the end of the day, there are things that can make their way into your culture subtly that all of a sudden become big issues and topics because you haven't addressed them in a thoughtful and, uh, and respectful way along the way. So uh, my encouragement today is to stay in tune with culture outside of your company and how that influences your internal culture so that you can lead people in a very effective way. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.